16th of June and it's been just over a month now since I went away for an amazing weekend. Um, the weekend in question was a festival called Camp Quirky and um, it was a festival I guess um, I know, designed for but I suppose its intention was to be uh, a festival that is um, geared to those that have uh, motorhomes, campers, um, specifically those that have built their own um, or modified their own in some kind of way and I found out about this festival through watching I think it was an Indie Projects uh, vlog and that was when I first became aware of it and so once I delved into it and then found out that there was a another festival back you know in May just gone by um, I jumped at the chance and booked my tickets as early doors as I possibly could and I have to say it was probably one of the better things that I've done in a long time really um, trying to explain to people at work and people that I know you know, what is this festival all about and you know people looking at you a little bit weirdly you know which you know to be fair is, is, is what most people do um, every day I guess but anyway that aside I think um, it was nice to for me anyway to have something to really really look forward to I had no idea what I was going to see apart from the videos and content that I'd seen already online on YouTube and I think um, to be honest with you you know I was filled with you know a bit of trepidation um, I was a little bit sort of yeah was doing something that was out of my comfort zone to go to somewhere where potentially I'll be surrounded by many people um, all of whom I didn't know um, and you know for me that was sort of quite a challenge um, and you know there were points when I thought you know you know is this going to be is this going to be the right thing etc etc and you know what happens you just think about things and I think sometimes I delve into things too much really and sometimes you just need to just crack on and think you know fuck it just go on do it Rob and um, you know let, and, and, and let it all happen and unfold in front of you and I think really to some extent that's what the main message of Camp Quirky was for me after spending three days there I came away with this this overriding feeling of you know just get on with it just do what you do and don't give a shit about what other people think you're doing and just crack on because if it's right for you then that's all it has to be right for um, as I said I went to this thing and um, was worried you know and 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 yet the moment I rocked up and was in this enormous queue of vans I felt this incredible exhilarating feeling of just oh my days look at this this is incredible um, I never expected to see that many people that many vans um, I parked myself in a field right at the end I was right I think I was in the furthest corner if you see all these YouTube videos of drone footage quite half the time you don't even see my van because I'm that far away um, and you know just to deliberately so I had a place where I could just be by myself and if I felt uncomfortable or at ill at ease at any point I always had my little safe haven to go back to where I wasn't surrounded by people and you know within five minutes of me rocking up and 
setting up camp. Um, a fellow neighbour parks up next to me, a guy called Simon, and and then we hit it off straight away, you know, within sort of five, ten minutes of chatting. I now had a drinking buddy for the first evening of festivities. Um, and it was brilliant to be able to have someone straight away that could ground you and uh, probably felt the same as me as well and then you had that sort of kingship with someone and, I, and that was just incredible. So, you know, festivities went by, had a few drinks, had some really lovely food, the falafels were amazing. Um, and then the first day really was just me going out with my camera and looking around and because of where I was parked I didn't think that many people would come to see my van or anything like that and and even though I'd stuck a little sign saying you know his name's Neo come on in um, I never really expected to see many people come and have a look around um, and for me it was really for me to have a chance to be able to have a look around the others and so I guess I started off by looking at Ivico's you know and uh, that's what I drive and it was really cool to see so many Ivecos and to see the same size vans as mine and see how people had laid them out and how different they were etc and um, I think that was kind of the first sort of um, thing that I wanted to do um, you know I uh, wanted to to go to some of the workshops and managed to catch the tail end of a Greg Virgo workshop which was really interesting um, but mainly it was about looking at other vans and meeting other people. Um, I never expected to see or meet many van dwellers. You know, I thought that, um, I don't know what the actual figure is in this country, but um, I was really surprised at how many that I'd met literally within the first day of me arriving. I think I'd, you know, I'd got speaking to at least two couples that were full-time van dwellers and that really sort of um, pepped up my spirits quite a lot. Um, you know, once the small short amount of time that I did spend in my own van, you know, eventually trickles of people started to come in and start to look around. And I think that was really nice, you know, I think it was... Um, it was a, a confirmation of what I've done to date uh, and how I've built it and how I've designed it and laid it out, etc. Um, the, the reaction that people had when they came in was, was a real sort of, um, what can I say, a, an affirmation, I suppose, to um, what I'd done so far was really good and that I didn't need to change. Um, and that I'd found something unique in terms of my own identity and the own things that I wanted to do with this space. So that was kind of nice. Um, yeah, the overriding feeling that I've had of this, the whole weekend was one of complete surprise and shock and awe really, I suppose, that I met so many wonderful people. There's so many people that had the same kind of outlook on life. Um, so many positive stories. Um, and I think the overriding, um, the overriding feeling of kinship, you know, and of, um, I don't know, family. There was something that was so incredibly unique about that whole weekend which, you know, really struck a chord with me. I think the hardest thing was, you know, my, my neighbour Simon, he left early on the Sunday, so I was there by myself and, you know, I went, every night I went down to the beer tent and partook in a few beers and listened to some bands and everything. And it is difficult, you know, when you're on your own and you look around and you see people all about you, you know, couples, families, etc. And... It is hard sometimes, but I still, you know, I didn't, I didn't feel totally out of my comfort zone, and I felt that any point, if I caught the eye of someone or what have not, there was always an opportunity to, 
to talk and to share with someone, which was really nice. Um, leaving was was really hard, and I suppose the reason for doing this now it's really looking back in retrospect now, having seen so many uh, videos um, on YouTube. You know, I I look at them all now and just have incredible fond memories that people have recorded. Um, and you know, hopefully there'll be some on this of of, of the things that I've recorded. To to be honest with you, I didn't record hardly anything, mainly because I spent most of my time just three days of just chatting with complete strangers and having an absolute hoot. Um, and it was just incredible. And um, I think now, a month later, I realise how much I miss that. And you know, if you are a full time van dweller you know for me the, the the overriding feeling that I have as much as I made this wonderful home for myself and everything is uh, a lot of the time is 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 loneliness and I think um, you know I missed that that weekend and I still do I miss it a lot I'm here now recording in a field by myself you know I've been in this campsite field all by myself this weekend which has been nice but at the same time it is it is difficult um, and you know I, I just wished in a way and I hope that you know maybe something like Camp Quirky could be done more often you know um, or mini versions of it can be done in different parts of the country um, I got to meet so many amazing people and I think the one thing that I took away was that I met uh, people that I'd seen on on YouTube you know Project Amber was the first person I spoke to and uh, got to speak to Mrs Virgo for a long time and uh, got to meet one half of Retro Renovations got to speak to Beyond the Van and got to speak to Luke's Van Life and he, Luke was the one person that really kind of left me with a, a real sense of achievement and wanting to, to, to continue to do this. This I'm really shit at, let's face it, and I don't do enough of these and I've got so much content that I want to upload. And yet meeting him in person and him going out of his way to come and see my van and praise my van and, and give me such a sort of affirmation as to the work that I'd done on it was the biggest praise that I could think of. And yeah, I came away from that weekend with an absolute buzz um, and a, a real sort of uh, desire to, to finish the van. What am I? Nearly, I don't know. 80 80 90 percent i say i am um but i'm so close and you know this weekend gave me a chance to be able to get away and, and live it and enjoy it like i really wanted to so in closing really i want to say thank you to the organizers of camp quirky for coming up with a an event which has obviously truly grown within the last three four years um, which means a lot to people and you know I can't thank you enough for um, the organization of such an event that brings like-minded people people of all walks and races and just complete bunch of nutters and joyous people and god knows you know there's so many walks of life and yet every single one of those people just had a common thing there was a common theme running through out which just linked all of these people together and that was amazing so thank you guys for for doing that and you know let's hope that uh you know I can afford and have the time to go to the next one and more importantly that you know work will give me that time off to go to the next one because you know I dearly love to meet and uh, some of those people that I I saw and and be able to continue some friendships and you know and I'm, I thank you for those people that I have met through, who I now follow or follow me on Instagram etc you know you've been a real um, a real blessing so 
yeah, thanks very much. And you know, on that note, I suppose I'll I toast you all and uh, see you next time. Cheers.